people deluded i'm back again as you know i love our youth footballers so let's see what our young players have been up to as you can see it was a difficult game against peterborough now i like when our young players get to play against men's sides i know the peterborough and teams of this uh sort of stature tend to lean into the under 21s market to get players on loan but i think it's one of the rare occasions these young players see what football's about and against peterborough a lot of mistakes went unpunished there especially when playing out from the back as you can see ethan the where he was probably sold short there but didn't think quick enough it was we were dispossessed obviously we're at sixes and sevens we're caught in the midst of an attacking move and we've been made to pay he had a lot to do the the peterborough goal scorer but yeah people it was a day to forget for arsenal football club against peterborough but these are the young lessons you know and as much as we deserve to lose and lose comprehensively i'm not gonna lie there were opportunities where we probably could have got back into the game i do credit our young players for not giving up and fairly equipping themselves but i just think at the end of the day football's decided in both boxes we didn't take advantage of the half chances we had we didn't defend our box well enough and there was a number of stray passes and many times we're getting caught in possession now as you know arsenal football club we like to pray out from the back we have a lot of touches we're very comfortable but time and a place as you can see again we was probably fortunate that he did that you know we didn't concede a second sooner but when we did again we've handed that to them as much as they're more an experienced side you get away with this at under 21s or youth football you don't in the men's game and this was a glimpse into these young players how mistakes can go punished people which they don't normally as you can see you know a bunch of players are caught flat-footed. A bunch of players were caught in possession there. And yeah, it's a moment to forget for Arsenal Football Club and everyone connected there. Miles was so sold very short by the keeper. Obviously, we're at no man's land and we shot ourselves in the foot. And I don't think we necessarily deserve to be two goals down, take nothing away from Peterborough. But they punished our mistakes and that's what you've got to do. Now, I think that's Zach Sturge playing for Peterborough on loan from Chelsea. I could be wrong. And as I said, we did have opportunities. I think, you know, we tried our best to attack their flanks. We did have half chances. We did, you know, we didn't shy away from the physical battle. But yeah, there were numerous times we were going to sleep defensively and you can't do this in the men's game. As you can see there, we're fortunate not to concede against the run of play. And unfortunately for us, that was probably a theme of how the game went, people. <coughs> apologies as you can see you know peterborough when they did attack they were brave they were good and it was a poor defensive performance in, in all honesty from everybody connected to arsenal really we've got to defend better the players know that the gaffer knows that the team know that and all we can say is we need to be better but as a get as i said you need to see your players outside of their comfort zones you know you wouldn't know how skilled a sailor is if they never sailed across troubled waters so these you know i'd love for us to play men's side on a more regular basis i've been saying uh, obviously we're at where we're at but i don't think under 21's football prepares these young players enough for the first team setup whether they're going to make out arsenal or go on loan or do other things really but on rare occasions, they do. As you can see, shape off the ball more more time is more dangerous on the ball. And as you can see, you know, we switched off off the ball again. We've been hit against the run of play. We're at sixes and sevens. As I said earlier, football is decided in both boxes. We weren't uh, efficient or effective in the final third. And, you know, we were shambolic defensively. And that's not just down to the defenders. That's the whole team, people. The whole team. Again, anyone that watched the Peterborough game several times, you know, they were turning um, our attack into, into counter-attacks and they were moving the ball quickly and capitalising on the space. As you can see, people, several times we've been all over the place defensively. I'm sure Mehmet Ali and the players won't be happy, and it's games like this that you really and truly learn from. So, yeah, it was a disappointing day at the office, man. You know, Miles did earn us a penalty. I do think that's a bit of a, you know, it's Arsenal, so I'm going to have the penalty, if I'm completely honest with you. Um I don't know if I've actually got the footage, but yeah, unfortunately, when Kion Edwards stepped up, unfortunately, it wasn't the best of penalties and we couldn't at least dent their, their, their clean sheet and ruin the clean sheet and ultimately patting up the scoreline. It wasn't to be. Now, our under-18s had a dramatic 7-1 victory against Crew Alexander. As you know, I want us to win the FA Youth Cup. I used to bunk school to go and watch the FA Youth Cup when Jack Wilshere and all of those players were playing. Ethan Namwari, probably the man of the moment. I believe he got five goals from what I can remember correctly. At the time of making this vid, Arsenal were yet to actually play PSV in the Champions League. I'd love to see Miles, Waters and Cole all 
um, playing it of sorts. It didn't get off to the greatest of starts, similar to what you've seen with the Peterborough game. You know, we went to sleep defensively, playing out from the back. We've had a bit of a mare there and we've presented them with the opener inside 40 minutes. Now, Crew Alexander, forgive me, but you know there's not going to be a cup upset here, people. You know we do at Bournemouth and what a strike that was from Ethan. A touch of luck with the deflection, but he bought a raffle ticket. And again, we him, Miles, Coles, Jubri, and many others, you know, Sago Jr., we need to let these guys develop. You know, I do think everyone's quick to say they're the next this, that, the other, but they're special players, man. And they've got, you know, a bright future ahead of them. And once we got the first, as you can see, you know, we started to run riot really and truly. You know, we were very fortunate with a penalty here. You know, essentially, it has hit a hand in my opinion, if, I, if I'm completely honest. A bit upset the ref didn't give us one. He gave us a corner instead, but it doesn't matter because we've made it 2-1. And what a thumping header that was. As much as we're Arsenal Football Club and we love to see the silky passes, third man runs, one and two touch, bread and butter has to be set pieces. And in the first team, we obviously take advantage of a lot of set pieces. And I'm sure the under-21 side or coaching side are no different. They want to see us score those goals. So that's the result of the training ground. I do think we smelt blood from this point. We were like sharks in the water. And as you can see, Ethan's gone there again and said, you know what? Let me bag a little brace tick. There's a reason he's the youngest debutant in the Premier League. As I said, let this man develop. But he's got an eye for goal. He's got that stardust about him. He's got a wand of a left foot. He's fantastic in light spit in, in tight spaces. You know, he's wanted by a couple of other clubs. So we did well to get him to commit his future. And big up to him and Miles, who also recently represented England at the under 17s World Cup. As I said, we smelt blood from, you know, they woke us up from they conceded first. We they scored first and we conceded first. After that, we're doing our thing. I don't think Ethan will score a better hat-trick than that, really and truly, inside the opening period. That's not the most glamorous of goals, but it's to run off the ball. Look how he's made the third man run, people. He's gone completely unmarked. Acres of space, bit of fortune with the touch. But that is what you've got to do to step up into the major games and the major leagues. You have to be proactive. For young players, it's less about what you do on the ball, more what you do off it. And that was a fantastic ball who we should have scored from initially. Again, to be honest with you, crew have gone to sleep there. It's a bit of a shambolic goal from their perspective. But who cares? You know, at this point, Ethan could, could do the Arshavin celebration really and truly. And for goals to one, the only bad thing we did was concede people. But Ethan had a very good game. And not just him. I know I'm focusing on him, but several players. Look at this driving run. That's a lovely ball. No one making a meal of it. Again, crew have been at sixes and sevens defensively. And dare I say, could we have probably scored more? Lovely improvisation there to get on the score sheet. Big up Omari Benjamin. So, yeah, we did what we needed to do. Unfortunately, though, apologies, that weren't Amari. Um, you know, we're, we know we're out of the youth league, the youth version of the Champions League. You know, we, we were bottom of the group last time I checked. It's not really been the greatest of performance. Hopefully, you know, our full men's side can qualify for the Champions League. And then by default, us lot will enter the competition. I did think against Lens, we were very unfortunate. I think we equipped ourselves well. I think it was an even game where both teams had half chances. Not quite sure how we didn't get a penalty for Amari Benjamin. As we know, Lens have a great academy. They've got a great academy. There's been a bunch of players that have come through their system. Ultimately, you know, we was playing this game for pride. There was nothing else to be gained from it. You know, to not have a victory in the Champions League group stages for a club like us is quite upsetting, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, but yeah, I, I don't I don't think a, a defeat was a fair result here. I think we equipped ourselves. I think a draw would have been the fairest result for both teams. We had chances. They had chances. Ultimately, you're going to see in a second that they took advantage of their opportunity and got the three points. And I know this isn't a like playing against men's side, but it's games like this with tournament football you know, that you see the margins between winning or losing or just getting the result and getting it done, essentially, people. You know, Lens probably had the more dominant of possession from what I can remember. We had chances. What a free kick that was. Ultimately, you know, Rosiak's made a career of our, our Arsenal so far scoring free kicks. He's got a wand of a, of a right foot from dead ball scenarios. You know, again, it did look like it was heading for a draw. Both teams in the final third, not really doing too much, not really looking like the quality is there. I did think a draw once again would have been the fairer of result. But ultimately, it wasn't to be really. And there were times there was a bit heart in mouth moments for both teams. But... As I said, it, was, it wasn't it was that it was a low-key affair. It was almost a nothing game where the majority of the game's been played in midfield. You know, the half chances that are being presented in the final third are quite minimal. Um, and apart from that, you know, there was, it really and truly wasn't too much to scream and shout about. I mean, a point would have been good. We know it's out of our hands qualifying now, really. We had ample opportunities to try and change our reality. 
but it's a good learning curve. It's a learning curve for those that will be eligible to play in this tournament uh, next year. It's a learning curve for young players in general that you know there's a very fine line between winning and losing. And it's a result. Football's a results-driven business. I don't think under-21s, under-18s, under-16s, what have you, prepares you necessarily for that. But there are the occasional games against men's sides or tournament football, whether it's the FA Youth Cup, whether it's the Youth League or, you know, the Premier Cup and whatnot. And, you know, I do think, you know, Salah uh, forgive me for mispronouncing your name, I think he had a decent game, if I'm honest with you, throughout. Um, and, you know, to be fair, we kept fighting. I do think in the last couple of Youth League games, while we haven't got the result, you know, we've done half decent and done more to deserve more. I do think we probably need a bit more individual quality um, next season. Uh, to probably get us out of these difficult moments and produce a little bit of magic. As you can see, that was a fantastic ball across. Ultimately, we didn't take the chances we had, really. And I think the first half was really kind of what I'm alluding to. It was probably the best kind of, what would be the word I'd be searching for? The best way to simply put to sum up how the game went. Now, in the second half, you just want to see us get the job done. You, you know, you're hoping we can nick it. Unfortunately, it was enough, us, really and truly. Once again, I don't, I don't agree with how we didn't get a penalty shout. I'm not going to lie, as the second half went on, Lens probably had more of the half chances and were probably banging on the door just a tiny percentage more than us and just probably that much better. And I, I must admit, they do break in numbers. I mean, it's they're a fantastic academy. I think we should have had a pen shout as well. Um, at least two pen shouts, really. And I do feel sorry for Amari Benjamin and whoever is up front because I wouldn't say we was creating a barrage of chances for our front men. Ultimately, goals win games. And if you don't do that, you're in trouble, essentially. Um, but we did have half chances that we didn't take advantage of. I'm still, I, I can't lie, I'm probably crying as I speak, people, because I really thought we could get through in this group. I did really wanted our young players to have some fantastic ties and stuff. But it is a good learning curve. They played against French sides, Dutch sides, and so on and so forth. And it's a learning curve because you're not playing British teams. How is that not a pen? Someone tell me, how is that not a pen? I'm not going to lie. On the replay, I thought it was a pen. So I have to forgive the ref for missing that first time, if I'm if I'm completely honest with you. As I said, I'd probably give the second half slightly to Lens. I think they were a bit crisper in their passes. They were just a bit better in that regards. But I honestly did think we was heading for a draw. But this is football. Anything can happen at any moment. And I guess that is what these young players have to learn. You don't take your chances. Maybe your opposition will. And it did look like we'd get something out of it. As I said, we had some hairy moments throughout the game when playing out from the back. Lens did keep pressing forward and playing with some sort of intensity. And ultimately, they got the three points, really and truly. As you can see, we've earned the corner there. You know, good defending initially from Nichols, reactionary defending. But unfortunately... Shoddy defending comes at a cost. It's not the glamorous of goals, but they all count. Lens beat us. In other news, Tyrese John Jules is back from injury and he's got two and two at the time of making this video um, for Derby. If that man can stay fit, I don't know if he'll make it at Arsenal, but he'll have a great career. And I think he's a fantastic player and I'm a supporter of him for life. Um, so, yeah, man, I think he's very unfortunate, really and truly, if I'm completely honest with you. Charlie Patino has also got two and two as well, people. Um, so big up to him. And Mika Bereff over there in Scotland, at the time of making this video, I think he's got six goals in 11 starts. He on is our young strikers doing his thing, and he had a terrible time with injury. So, yeah, big up the Haylenders, they're doing their thing. Shout out to Brooke Norton Coffee for this assist as well. Lovely to see our young players, man.